Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be playing The Sims 2 again. After last time I'm very worn out because my Sims just keep dying. They are all being scared to death. They are not dying of hunger. They are not dying of electrocution or boredom or drowning. They are dying of being scared to death by ghosts and it has to stop. So today we are going to be banishing ghosts and we are going to be moving them all to the graveyard. A stunning graveyard that I have built from scratch. We are back in Strange Town and we are going to visit Spectre Family and we are going to banish the ghosts that are making an absolute mess in my house. I'm sick of having a flooded garden and I have built a graveyard and this is called Olive's Garden. So, we are going to move them to the new graveyard that I have built over the road. Hello Lola Singles. Yes, I have moved the Singles family into Strange Town. So Olive gets the graveyard. Right, first of all, I want to move the graves out of the house. I want all the ghosts to be gone and moved over the road to the graveyard. But I do not want to get rid of Joy Desperate because Joy Desperate is iconic and she has to live in the house. And I kind of do still want the thrill of having ghosts in my house because the constant thrill of danger keeps me so excited. Where is Joy Desperate? Joy Desperate, where are you? Joy Desperate is here. Joy Desperate, you are going in Olive's inventory. Move all graves. We are moving the graves to Olive's garden. The graves are moving. Goodbye, people. Leave my house. Looking so innocent and waving. Five minutes ago, they were killing all of my sims. Goodbye, Ophelia. You shall not be missed. Goodbye. We shall see you in the graveyard. Right, we are going over the road. We have to go into build mode and we have to put all the graves in their nice places. Hello graveyard that I have built from scratch. I must repeat again. Now we need to place them. Yes, I have built a lovely public toilet. I do have hot springs in my graveyard. After people come and mourn at the graveyard, they like to have a nice soak and hot springs. Graves are being placed. I wish I had more different types of graves. I'm going to move that tree so the ghosts can get out. Oh my god, there's so many graves I didn't realise. Right, they're going here. Look at this gorgeous public toilet. There is lovely pillars. Very toomey, very stunning, very hot springs. Right, we are going back over the road. Yes, save. <sighs> I feel free of the graves now. We are now going to build a pool. First we have to flatten the lot. Excuse me? <gasps> oh my god, that's so creepy. So the pool cannot be built because there's apparently objects here. Oh my god, that's so scary. What is the object? The object is the bodies buried amongst the ground. I think there is a body here. That is so weird. So now we have to have a hole in the middle of our pool. I do not like that. Nervous has finally decided to play pinball. Oh my god, we are making lots of money. Oh my god, yay! Okay, right, we finally have the pool. Pool is stunning, pool is lovely. Right, we need some deck chairs. Lovely. Joy Desperate, you are going in the corner. Right, everyone go swimming. Yeah, just leave the baby on the floor. We do have cots, so I don't know why the babies are being put on the floor. The cots are in the chocolate factory. Bella is currently sleeping. She's not very happy. Right, Olive, put that baby down. We're going to the graveyard. Oh, the nanny has arrived. She's absolutely stunning, apart from that hair. Yes, she's thinking about where, where have all my graves gone? They are at the graveyard, Olive, and we are going to visit. She's getting a taxi just to go over the road. Now all the graves have been placed where Olive can sit and admire all the people that she has killed. Wait, before you do that, Olive, you need to go for a wee. Too late. She just wet herself in the middle of the graveyard. Oh, Sissy B could just walk through the wee. Hey, Laszlo! One of Olive's fears was using a public toilet, and now she's very unhappy. Let's all get in hot springs. It has just turned night time. The ghosts are going to start coming out. Right, we're going home. Before we get killed by the ghosts, we are going home. The pizza delivery guy just said that I was absolutely disgusting. How dare you? I'm going to insult you. No, I'm going to throw my drink on you. Oh my god, the ghosts have arrived. The ghosts have arrived. Quick, get in the taxi. Where's the taxi? Okay, all the ghosts are crying because they're no longer in Olive's garden. Right, get in the taxi quick. Oh my god, stop it. Anyone that comes to this graveyard, ask be warned, you will die. We are back from that dreaded graveyard. Where are the baby boys? They are being made into chocolates. Okay, so Bella Goth wants to eat the babies. Come on, Bella, let's go make some pork chops. So the nanny has decided to not do her job properly. She's just decided to sit on the sofa and watch the TV. Bella is making pork chops. That looks absolutely delicious. Oh, the nanny has decided to take the trash out. How very kind of you. We are all sitting at the table in our pyjamas and eating pork chops. Oh, Bella Goth has just fell asleep in her food. <gasps> this is thundering and lightning. Another cause of death in The Sims 2. Okay, everyone is falling asleep in their food. One of Nervous's fears is changing a diaper. Her. Right, Nervous, change that diaper. You are going to complete one of your fears. Joy Desperate, are you coming out to play? Right, I cannot stand this any longer. The baby is crying. Both babies are screaming their heads off and I cannot cope. We are going to another house. We are having a break from the Spectre family. Yes, this is happening. Okay, so, 
This is the singles family. There's four girls. The one with the speak to the manager hair is very rude and very mean. They are constantly fighting. This is the stunning house that I have built. They have two kitchens because why the hell not? They have two bathrooms because they need it. They have these gorgeous bedrooms, lovely pink and purple house, stunning swimming pool in the garden. So Chloe Singles is the meanest one out of all of them. She's very mean. She just pokes everybody all the time. Already they are fighting. Chloe and Erin are having a fight. The postman is cheering for Chloe. No, he's booing Chloe. Lola Singles is very sensible. She's the older sister and she is painting. Erin won the fight. I think these girls need a bit of a makeover. We are not going to do it the normal way. We're going to use a cheat and we are going to unlock the career rewards. Yes. Yes, it is happening. We are having a plastic surgery machine in the house. So it basically warps their faces so they are like stunning. You could put it outside. Let's have a plastic surgery shed. Right, we're having a plastic surgery shed. And this is where the girls go to get their plastic surgery. Perfection. We are building a lovely little roof on top. Right, there we go. Stunning. The plastic surgery booth has been built. We have windows, we need some lights. And their face go in there and then they get warped. Oh look, our fellow alien friend. Come and join the club. <gasps> she robbed our newspaper, how very dare she. She's jumping in the pool. Go on, dive in. Oh, she chickened out. So all of these Sims are, have history in Strange Town. So I think Pollination Technician is Lola's father and Chloe's father. Let's see. Okay, yes. So Pollination Technician is Chloe and Lola's father. So technically, Johnny Smith and Jill Smith are siblings of them. Glam Curious. Oh, so the Curious family are related too. Kristen, we are going to give you some plastic surgery. We are going to give all these girls some stunning plastic surgery. And they're all going to look absolutely stunning. Right, so we are using the plastic surgery machine for the first time. Let's start with the eyes. Tiny little eyes. Very close together. Eyebrows are getting lifted very high. Very villainy. You're going to have a stunning red plastic. Okay, the nose is shrinking. The nose is shrinking. She now has a tiny nose. She is stunning. Look at that face. Right, so we're going to give her absolutely massive lips. Chin, right, we need to suck the chin out. We are giving her a little sticky out chin because that is stunning. Okay, there we go. She is stunning. She is very fierce. We are giving her absolutely tiny ears. There we go. Looking absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a look at you. Oh my goodness me, you look fierce. She's made up with her new face. Come on, Erin, it's your turn to use the fast plastic surgery booth. Right, it is time. Lovely nervous subject eyes, a bit smaller. Eyebrows are going to be very, very thin and a bit sad, a little bit sad. Oh my goodness me, that is so stunning. Right, we are going to give you big lips as well. Oh my God, look at that face. Iconic, absolutely stunning. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness me, you look, oh my God, darling, you look stunning. She's, she's looking at me right now like, oh my God, what have you done to my face? Olive Spectre, Nervous Subject, and Jenny Smith have arrived. Welcome to my house. Can I interest you in the plastic surgery booth? Let's go for the glossy lips. Oh my goodness me, you look so gorgeous. Have a little wee, wee We are making an extension on our salon, and we are going to have a lovely hairdresser's next door. Here we go. Okay, we now have a beauty salon up and running. Let's go in. Right, we are going to cut hair. Offer free makeover to Erin. Right, we are going to give a makeover to Erin. Right, come on. I'm going to give you a horrible hairstyle. It's going to be hilarious. Welcome to my salon. You're going to absolutely wreck your hair. Right, she's going to have flicks and she's going to have big pink lips. She's going to have black eyebrows. So stunning. She's very happy with that makeover. I do not know why. And her breath smells. Gussy up does not mean smell your breath for five minutes straight. Oh, that is a gorgeous painting. I'm very proud of you. Llamas can be found in this area. Olive is deciding to insult Kristen's new look. So stunning. She's crying because she does not like her new makeover. Poking again. Bowl cut boy is back. Let's greet the bowl book, bowl cut. Blair Mace. His name is Blair Mace. Right, bowl cut, welcome to our house. We are getting rid of that bowl. Right, and we are giving you a top hat and we are giving you a little goatee. We have finally removed the bowl cut and we have introduced the new, improved Blair, a top hat boy. Oh, he's very, very happy that his bowl cut has finally gone. Oh my god, where is she running to? She's running, where are you running to? Oh, she needed poo, she was desperate for a dump. Right girls, we are going clubbing. We are going to the club and we are going to shake our hips. 
This place has a VIP lounge, so we are going there. Hit the dance floor. Right, girls, let's get mortal. So Erin has decided she now wants to work as a DJ. You need to move over, we are DJing now. Yes, spin queen, spin queen. No, it's my go, let me have a go. I'm gonna spin hard and fast. Work it, girl. She fell. Erin is now working as the DJ, but she's not very good at it. It sounds like the Ghostbusters. Yes, come on in to our VIP lounge. Hello, boys. Well, looks like we are going to pull tonight. Erin is not that great at DJing, because she keeps playing baby songs. Chloe's decides to get mortal. Okay, you are not a good DJ, stop. We're going to party somewhere else now. Right, we are going to Midnight Flows. Come on, Lola, get in, stop taking your time. Okay, this place is looking groovy. Right, girls, let's get a table. Be seated. Why did all the girls just suddenly go in the kitchen? The staff only get out. So Nervous is on his own and gets a full booth, and we're with four girls, and we get a little tiny shitty table at the, at the front of the house. We are going to order Lobster Thermidor because that is iconic. Oh, the Lobster Thermidor has arrived. That was very fast. That is looking very nice. Right, Chloe, eat your Lobster Thermidor. <gasps> Excuse me! She just took my food away from me. Chloe just ordered Lobster Thermidor, and Kristen has decided to take the Lobster Thermidor and eat it for herself. You absolute selfish, selfish cow. Where is the waiter? I'm calling the police. That cost me 55 simoleons, and she took it right off my table. I would like to speak to the manager immediately. Oh. My. God. How long have you been hiding that talent? Okay, girls, it is 5 a.m. We need to go home immediately. Mrs. Crumplebottom, the absolute icon, has arrived at the club. She is walking in and she is stunning. Yes, queen. Tell her, Mrs. Crumplebottom, get off that couch and get in the taxi. Mrs. Crumplebottom exiting the building. She's walking through the butterflies and she is going home. Right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Um, next time I will be playing The Sims 2 again. Thank you for watching my video and goodbye.